Today, with Asia already outproducing Europe, India and China are clearly becoming part of our new order. And they're doing so principally because of their economic strength and potential. And while military and political power retain their status and always will, all these new challenges are bringing together about the biggest restructuring we have ever seen, not just of the global economy, but of the global order as a whole. And 200 years ago, a famous British Foreign Secretary said that the new world had been called into existence to redress the balance of the old. When you were over in American Samoa, what, what surprised you the most? I guess what hit me the most is the condition of the factory that the workers were in. The factory uh, was sur surrounded by um, uh, fans uh, uh, and uh, barbed wire on top and on the bottom, and they have a chain link fence around the whole factory and, and dormitory compound. The gate has a, uh, has a uh, guard shack where the guard uh, sit down and control the worker movement in and out of the, of the factory. The factory are made of um, uh, tin panels with tin roof. Um, it's really hot. The, the temperature over there is regularly 90 degrees. And inside the factory or the dormitory, it reached way over 100 degrees. Yeah, it's a contemporary form of slavery. They call it slave labor. But they don't prosecute them because it's how they make paper. When you rocking that fly shit that's made in China by an eight-year-old child trying to feed his mama, he exposed to contamination and disease. And only 55% of them will get degrees. And the women have to try to play cake the boss because of sex discrimination in the labor force. The slave master only let them speak in sign language. And they suffering from lung disease and eye damage. 14-hour shifts, seven days a week. Two shitty meals a day, very little sleep Human life only worth three cents an hour All human rights lost, no sense of power What did 400 years in the grave pass us? Only the improved cleverness of slave masters Is life worth living if you living in hell? When the mind is confined to a prison of cell And the lies they devise in a system that fell But I expect the system to fail is life worth living if you living in hell? When the mind is confined to a prison of cell And the lies they devise in a system that fell But I expect the system to fail Many Chinese workers are forced to sign secret agreements Known as shadow contracts Before they leave China severely And in some ways illegally restricting their activities While on American soil Workers are forbidden to participate in any religious or political activity Or to ask for a salary increase Or even to fall in love or get married It's 1.6 million people locked in jail They the new slave labor force trapped in hell yeah. They generate over a billion dollars worth of power And only getting paid 20 cents an hour They make clothes for McDonald's and for Applebee's And working 40 hour shifts in prison factories And while we sit around debating who the whack sees They have to work when arthritic pain attack the knees Slavery's not illegal, that's a fucking lie It's illegal unless it's for conviction of a crime The main objective is to get you in your fucking prime And keep the prison full and not give you a fucking dime But they the real criminal keeping you confined For a petty crime, but they give you two to nine and ain't nobody there to protect you Except a bunch of incompetent human rights inspectors Is life worth living if you living in hell? When the mind is confined to a prison of cell And the lies they devise in a system that fell But I expect the system to fail Is life worth living if you living in hell? When the mind is confined to a prison of cell And the lies they devise in a system that fell But I expect the system to fail The, the sweatshop situation um, kind of and kind of take advantage uh, on the people that are poor and at, at an economic uh, disadvantage. This Chinese woman made t-shirts and pants at the factory until she became pregnant. Tu Mei says she refused to have the abortion and has now been barred from entering the factory. Allowing them to bring that onto U.S. soil is a very deep concern. We've now documented the fact that management of uh, to become pregnant into having abortions. Human rights workers say it's common practice. Inside the factory, Chinese law applies. And Chinese law is, is supreme. Even though it's the United States of America. That's right. The flag doesn't fly inside there.